Come with me as we hike to some of the most pristine trout fishing spots I've ever been to in my entire life. When I say pristine, I mean it is see-through water. You can actually see the fish when you put your camera under the water. It's absolutely insane. On this trip, I catch some rainbow trout. I lose some rainbow trout, lost. unfortunately. Lost him. I lost him. But it does start with a very big hike to actually get to these spots. Whew. We're up pretty high. Long way to go. So I'm with my partner Libby and we just walked up an incline for about an hour straight, had to go through streams, had to go through rivers, and I come to this perfect spot and I try to hide from the trout, but I couldn't have got a better setup. This is like the perfect hole that holds trout. I'm on. On. Trying to get me off. There it is. We'll try and land it. Oh. Beautiful red car. Beautiful red car. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful fish. Have a look at it. Hold on, mate. He's off. Lost him. I lost him. That's right. I need a net. Don't have a net. That's right, I could have done better with that as well. I'm being really bad, I'm being really amateurish here. So you can see I'm pretty hard on myself after that because that was stupid in every way. I didn't bring my net, shouldn't have brought it onto there, but I definitely did learn from it. I'll never forget my net again and uh, onto the next spot to try and catch something. Live Trout City, is it? Not too long after, and I'm onto my next trout. It was very shallow. Didn't know if I was going to get anything, but I used one of these floaters that I've got, and um, the trout took it almost as soon as it hit the water. Of course, I didn't get a video of it, but that's a picture of the trout that I got. That's what Libby took, and then this is me releasing it back into the water. Stay tuned for part two of this trip, as I'm going to post it on my YouTube.